All right, Shalom. All right, this is Gamali Allah out of Great Millstone, Atlanta. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rakakwadash, double lines to our elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to all the that are pushing out this truth and sincerity. All right, uh, coming at you with a quick lesson. All right, and um, this is going to be a response uh, to, um, not quite a response, um, but this video, uh, um, open discussion with Hebrew Israelites. All right, that a brother had shared, and um, uh, you know the topic that I'm gonna deal with concerning this video is that debating is not doing the work. Okay, um, you know, I a lot of Israelites are under the impression that you know debates and you know um, um, I guess. Um, defending defending the gospel against unbelievers is doing the work okay and um that's just not so okay because um you know first of all the the platform that the heavenly father and his son have set up all right is on the highways and byways okay for you to, he commanded um he commanded uh, okay his men to go out on the highways and byways um, week in and week out, okay, not to set up debates, not to sit down with, with, um, you know, people and, and, you know, hear their, their, uh, opinions and, you know, all this and all that. Like I said, that's just a waste of time, you know, like our apostles and elders always say, you know, um, um, the result of the debate is everyone's going to go home believing what they believe, okay? No one's going to get converted. No one's going to sit there and say, oh, well, you know what? They're right, you know? All right, so anyway, um, you know, that's the gist of this lesson, and uh, I'm just going to I'm just gonna play a little bit, all right? But uh, I don't know what particular group of Israelites this is. I don't know if they're going out on the highways and byways, all right? Um... But, you know, they've sat down with this, these three um, so-called uh, black women, okay? And, um, you know, they, I guess it's like a discussion, open discussion, all right? Um, or more so an interview because she's the one asking the questions. She has the control over. This is, by the way, this is her, this is her um, channel, okay? And, um, you know, they're, they're just... You know, they kind of go back and forth, but, but I mean, I, I don't know, like I said, I don't know what camp this is, but there's a few times where they actually kind of get stumped, okay, <laughs> where, where they actually, you know, they don't, they keep jumping around from subject to subject without answering some of the questions, all right, and um, there's actually 11 parts to this, to this uh, video. Yeah, 11 parts, you know, and they're pretty short. So, I mean, you can check them out. Uh, they're, yeah, they're about five minutes, five to ten minutes each. Lord willing, I'll, uh, Lord willing, I'll, I'll do a direct response to some of these. Um, kind of short on time right now. But, uh, but, you know, just as far as a response to some of the things that they're saying in, in this, um, in this uh, discussion, but anyway, I'm gonna just let it play, and then um, I'm gonna just get the uh, precepts rolling. All right. So my name is Brilla Day, and I'm fortunate enough to have a group of people around me who's interested in talking about their different beliefs, and I really want to get other people's perspectives in life. And this uh, this has been something I've been wanting to do for a while, so I'm really excited that I get to do it now. Um. So yeah, I'm Bree. Malia. I'm Sierra. Kendrick. Be golden. Cortland. Alright, and so we're just, I have some questions here um, that we're going to discuss, and then I'm sure that we can discuss some other things as well. Alright, before we get. Alright, so I'm not even, like I said, I'm not really going to get into their whole discussion. Um, but as you see, you know, um, this girl, she has a uh, a blog, discussion blog, I guess that's what it is, 
and um, she's uh, basically she basically has some questions, but she makes the statement that uh, you know she wants to see other people's perspectives and all this and all that, you know, which um, you know we don't we don't need to share. <laughs> Okay, we have YouTube. Okay, we have YouTube and we have uh, the highways and byways. Okay, if people want to know about the Hebrew Israelites, if they want to know anything they need to know, okay, they can go to YouTube and type it in. Okay, uh, you know, we don't have to sit down with, with people and, and uh, you know, give our perspective because really it's not a perspective, it's the truth. Okay, and that's the way, like I said, these people, these people that don't believe, they're going to, um, they're going to, to uh, try to, you know, put it in a, in a, as if it's a perspective thing, like, oh, you know, it's a group, okay, or, or you know, this is their perspective. I just want to understand their perspective. When it's, it's not, it's just the truth, okay. That's all it is, all right. And whether whether they accept it. Or whether they want to, whether they want to to uh, perceive it to be a perspective or not, okay, it's just the truth, okay. The truth is the truth, and it's plain and simple, okay. So this is uh, Mark four and sixteen, and these are they likewise which are s sown on stony ground, who, when they are when they have heard the word, immediately receive it. With gladness, okay. Matter of fact, uh, wait a minute. I wanted to let me start at twelve. All right, um, I started at eleven. And he said unto them, Unto you it is given to know the mysteries, the mystery of the kingdom of the Most High. But unto them that are without, all these things are done in parables. Okay, so this thing wasn't given to everybody. Okay, we don't have to sit down with, um, you know, Eve and, and, you know, give our, give our take on things and, you know, go into the scriptures. All right, go into these different topics and debates. We don't owe them any type of explanation or, or, um, or debates. Okay, or owe them any type of discussions because at the end of the day, this is just the truth. Okay, the truth doesn't have to be debated. All right, this is uh, verse 12. That seeing they may see and not perceive, and hearing they may hear and not understand, lest at any time they should be converted and their sins should be forgiven. Yeah, so they, they, they have eyes, they have ears, okay? They can hear, but they don't understand, okay? This thing is going above their heads, okay? And the reason why, and like I said, really they go into numerous topics, okay? They go into uh, Hebrew Israelites on free will, African American dating, interracial dating, all right, uh, and so on and so forth. But anyway, um, and by the way, none of these actually reach a conclusion, <laughs> You know, um, it, it just jumps around. The subject just keeps jumping around. Uh, but it says uh, um, that seeing they may see and not perceive and hearing they may hear and not understand. So these people aren't going to understand ultimately. All right. Because it's the most high who who opens up people's eyes. OK. All right. It's up to the most high whether he decides to put the spirit on on whoever to grasp this truth all right um let's see one second okay let's get it. ephesians So yeah, like I said, ultimately it's a waste of time to sit here and debate, and you know that it's not doing the work. Debating is not doing the work because, like I said, well, first of all, what's the what's the main mission of what we're doing? Our main mission of what we're doing is to wake up the elect. 
all right and and typically you know you're not gonna find the elect amongst scoffers okay um, you know the elect is typically gonna have a listening ear you know like uh, how we just read okay they hear and they don't understand so a, a, a characteristic of someone who is a potential elect okay they're not gonna come scoffing okay they're actually gonna be attentive and, and listen all right and and try to get the understanding of, of of what the message is okay this is Ephesians 4 and let's get Ephesians 4 and okay 17 it says uh, this I say therefore the testimony in the Lord that ye hence walk walk not as other Gentiles walk not uh, in the vanity of their mind, having the un having the understanding darkened, being alienated from from the life of the Most High through the ignorance that is in them, because the of the blindness of their heart. Okay, so these people have been darkened. Okay, all right. It says, "Walk not as other Gentiles walk." All right, um, in the vanity of their mind. Because these people are vain, okay? They don't, they don't, everything, especially when you go into this um, discussion, all right? Eve is constantly talking about her opinions. I think this, and I think that, and, you know, so going into what? The vanity of their mind, their own vain understanding, okay? Because they, they've been brought up under the, the particular, they, they've been brought up under the conditioning of the so-called white man and his system they've been brought up in a, uh, to to uh, believe a particular mindset to uphold a particular mind frame and they're not going to come out of that okay so realizing that being spiritual the scriptures say the spiritual man judges all things so you have to be able to judge who to talk to and who not to talk to you know you have to be able to discern these things, and that's part of having wisdom, is, is um, realizing, okay, this person is not going to get it, okay? This debate is, is going to, you know, it's going to be a situation at the end of it where it's going to be a, an agree to disagree, so to speak, which we all know that's bullshit because when we're speaking to people, it's not agree to disagree. It's either one person is right and one person is wrong and we're the ones that are right because we're telling the truth okay but these people look at it as agree to disagree which really that just means that that they're stuck on being wrong okay like because like I said they've been conditioned to to believe what they want to believe and you can't come along and and try to tell them anything okay what can you tell a person who who is just gonna go off of their their own emotions and go off what they think you can't tell them nothing because they're always gonna go back to to what they what they know or what they think they know you know that's gonna be their their automatic reaction every time is to resort back to to their own vanity all right, it says, um, having the understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of the Most High through ignorance that is in them, because the blindness of their heart. And who blinded their heart? The, the Most High blinded their heart. Hosea 4 and 6, uh, our people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Okay, so they don't have that knowledge. They don't have the the mental capacity to be able to to grasp what we're saying okay they don't have they they're not able to grasp the, the scriptures ultimately because they don't have the spirit of the lord and you can't make yourself of the elect okay the lord has to choose you the lord has to put his spirit on you because even at camp you know brothers are making a good point we're making it as plain as day 
you know, so ultimately the Lord has to be putting a spirit of sleep on these people because the way we make the way we word things and the way we bring it out, the way we bring this truth out, it's just plain and simple. You know, it, it's not rocket science. It's very basic. It's easy to understand. And it's easy for us to understand, but it's hard for the average person to understand. All right. So um, that's all I got. I actually got to get ready to work. All right. So um, I'm going to wrap up there and do a part two. I want to give all praise to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh, Shai, Bashim Kakadash, Double Lines to our elders and apostles. Shalom.